The roller cone bit was the drilling bit throughout the 1900s. The roller cone people thought, no, that, that, that's not going to go anywhere. You know, they, they were confident that they, they would uh, continue to be the, the dominant source. They then began to realise that this PDC thing was actually taking off. Time is money, particularly in the offshore environment, so there's a lot of costs involved. A roller cone bit was relatively cheap, and you could more or less throw it, throw it, throw it away afterwards. But PDC bit would last longer. It would drill faster than a roller cone bit. It would make a good comparison and justify using the PDC bit. There were a lot of applications which, at the time, appeared to be uh, off limits for uh, PDC bits. And uh, over the ensuing years, of course, we've learned that. Uh, they're not off limits at all, it's just taken time to figure out how to do it. Yeah, there was a lot of trial and error in the early days. Somebody was always on our back about when are you going to get it. <laughs> Things were happening very rapidly. You had to keep moving the technology on and making better bits. I got a phone call about six o'clock in the evening. He said, John, are you still in the office? I was like, yeah. You better come and have a look at this. And uh, to everybody's surprise, uh, the wear resistance of the leached PDC was about four times the uh, reference of the unleached PDC. Um, all our torque problems went away. Now, PDC technology, particularly the leaching technology that we came up with, the drilling industry has not seen anything that comes close to paralleling the uh, shift that we've seen in drilling performance. How do we develop PDC? How do we get PDC? How do we drill faster? How do we drill quicker? Over time, everybody catches up technology-wise. What we pride ourselves in is knowing what the client wants more than they know what they want. You know, we've, we've overtaken roller cone bits to be able to drill wells that we've never been able to drill before, and now we're getting into geothermal. You know, PDC again is proving itself, you know, with, with uh, cutter development through ge geometrical shapes, through grades of PDC that in the early days we could only dream of. Reed Hyclog has always been one of the companies at the forefront of um, innovation, and we've spent 50 years learning how to make PDC bits work in sedimentary formations and how to optimize them. You know, we still carry on making them better and better. One constant is that everybody wants to do the best they can do. They want to, whether they're designing the drill bit, whether they're talking to the customer, whether they're actually manufacturing the drill bit on the shop floor, it's 100% correct before it moves out. The processes change. Um, the way that we work always changes and it gets optimized. But the people and the way that they treat one another, that team feeling, that family unit, I find it everywhere um, within Reed Hyperlock. And I think this is the essential thing that, that, that we've kept um, over the years.